this is Gregory Zelfin from SharePoint Maven and today I want to talk about Office Delve. Now Delve is this mysterious application that uh, a lot of people are really confused about. Uh, it's part of Office 365 subscription. However, a lot of a lot of um, users are kind of trying to, uh, you know, have a hard time understanding what it is and what it does and whether or not they should use it. So that's what this video is going to be about. I will try to clarify all of this, um, you know, for you. Um, like I said, Delve is, a lot of people just don't get Delve because, you know, people understand what SharePoint does, people understand what Word, Excel, and, um, you know, OneDrive do. But Delve is this kind of mysterious object, this mysterious application. And uh, I will try to explain to you what this is all about. Now, um, you know, first of all, how do we access Delve? Uh, there are two places you can access it from. So uh, you can either click on the app launcher and, um, you know, sometimes it will appear right in the, in the menu, but you click on all the apps and you will see the Delve uh, link uh, on the left-hand side. Uh, that's option number one. Another option, you can click on your image, on your picture in the upper right-hand corner and click on my profile. It doesn't really matter which option you know you click on uh it goes to the same place so we, we might as well just click here here we go this is my you know delve um you know page i guess so let me explain to you what delve is first so uh when i explain delve to to my clients i i, I usually say that delve is a combination of employee directory and facebook all right um, now, let me explain to you why I, I, I you know, I, um, I kind of chose this combination. Uh, so f first of all, first and foremost, right, uh, it is an employee directory. That's where you can find all of your employees, essentially all of the users who have been provisioned as, you know, as part of Office 365 that exist in your directory, they would all be in here, all right? So if you need to find someone, um, look up their, um, you know, phone number, um, you know, contact information, etc. Yeah, um, you know, you do it from Delve. In the upper left-hand corner, uh, you just literally, you know, type in the user's name and some of the most frequent, you know, users that you, um, that you, you search for, they will appear already in the list on the left-hand side. But let me just type uh, some people in. As you can see, it already, you know, gives me uh, a choice even before I start uh, typing uh, any names in. But let me just type in Mary. Here we go. Uh, I found Mary, so and I can see Mary's contact information, you know, her, her email address, uh, and additional information, which I will talk about in a second. So once again, first and foremost, right, you know, Delve is is a great replace, replacement for uh, those employee directories that you have. You no longer need to maintain, um, you know, Word documents, Excel documents, PDFs, you know, update them all the time. This is it right here. Your employee directory is web-based. It's available uh, for every one of the use Dell. Now, but however, it's not just an employee directory. Um, uh, like I said, I also call this, um, you know, I call Dell a combination of uh, a combination of employee directory and Facebook. And let me explain to you why. Uh, because Dell does have this, um, you know, Facebook, I guess. And, you know functionality if you notice uh, let me go back to my you know uh, to my page again uh, I can update my profile and over here you know in addition to you know some basic information you know my name and you know the telephone numbers and everything uh, I also have other sections just like on Facebook you know how on Facebook we can update about us and you know what our hobbies are and uh, you, you, you know, and what, whatever our experience, you know, our work experience has been, we have very, very similar, you know, sections over here. So I, as a matter of fact, I can just go in and update them all. Um, these are built-in sections that are part of your Delve page, and I can update a section on About Me, you know, projects, you know, that I have been working on, some skills and, expert, uh, and expertise that I have. As you can see, I put in, um, I guess I'm good in tennis. Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, in any case, I, I put um, some expertise and skills that I have. I can add some schools and interests and hobbies. Now, and the cool thing about all of this is, I mean, first of all, right, it makes the the boring employee directory more, 
I guess, social, right? I guess I think it's a great uh, conversation starter if somebody sees that you're good in tennis or cooking or whatever it is. Uh, but second of all, all of this fields right here, they're searchable, all right? All of this, you know, all of this information that I input in here, projects and skills and everything, everything is searchable. So if someone, someone for example, logs in and says, you know, well, I need someone, I'm looking for someone within our organization who is good in SharePoint, uh, let's type in SharePoint, right? This search box is very powerful. It doesn't just search you know, first name and last names, it also searches other information you have on your profiles. Uh, and look at this, it picked up, you know, when I typed in SharePoint, it obviously picked it up from my title, but also because I typed in the skill that I have, um, yeah, you know, SharePoint skill that I have, so it picked up on that. So uh, let me just try something else, um, cooking, all right? Let's see who is good in cooking. Mary is. So you see Mary under her profile, she, she mentioned that cooking is, is, a, is a skill of hers. Uh, so it picked it up. So this allows to, to, to you know, this allows you to make uh, the employee directory a little bit more exciting and um, then just the regular, you know, spreadsheet right where you will maintain the, the phone numbers and everything. Uh, this allows you to really um, you know, spice it up a little bit and make it a little bit more, uh, more social. All right. Um, so, and, and by the way, uh, uh, one other thing is, um, all of these fields, um, I mean, this all the default fields, but your administrator, your IT administrator can, um, hide or show certain fields or prevent users from editing certain fields. For example, right. You know, maybe, uh, maybe, um, I shouldn't be changing my title, right? My uh, title uh, should be uh, maybe uh, managed by, um, you know, by an active directory, by, uh, you know, someone with an IT, or maybe um, you want to prevent users from modifying their um, work numbers, etc. Your IT admin team uh, can do that, um, you know, for you if necessary. And as a user, you do have uh, additional, additional uh, capabilities as well, just like on Facebook. Uh, remember, you can either set it, um, you know, to show a particular piece of information just, you know, for your friends, with your friends, or the friends of friends, or just you. Same thing here. You can actually, for example, if I don't want anyone to see my, you know, phone number, right, uh, I can easily, you know, tweak the setting and, and nobody will be able to, to see my, uh, my uh, phone number. All right. Uh, one other thing I want to show you, uh, and it, it's it, it's something, you know, I guess back to that Facebook, that back to that social aspect of Dell um, is, yeah, let me let me show you first what I mean. So let me click on Mary's page over here. Here we go. In addition to all the, you know, profile information that Mary has, right, here we go, um, uh, and her phone numbers and, you know, and hobbies, etc. I can also see the documents that uh, Mary has been working on recently. So I can see she modified a couple of documents, um, you know, some time ago, and I can see them right here. Now, this right here is a huge concern to many users uh, because they think, well, now, um, you know, all of a sudden, right, it's a privacy issue. How come can I, I can see those documents that Mary modified? Well, here's the thing. Uh, just like on Facebook, right, you see when you... you, you uh, become friends or follow, you know, people and companies, you see their feeds and see uh, whatever it is that they're doing uh, uh, on Facebook, right? Uh, same thing here. Uh, this doesn't mean that I'm going to see some confidential information, um, you know, that I'm not supposed to. If, if I can see those two documents that Mary modified, that means I already have access to those documents. That means that I already have access to those you know, sites, uh, maybe uh, this is a project site or department site that Mary and I are part of. Uh, and, um, you know, I already, in other words, I already have access to this information. What Dell allows you to do, it allows you to surface up that information for you. It's the same exact concept uh, that Facebook and LinkedIn and, you know, and Twitter have, right? Instead of you searching for information, the information is surfaced up for you automatically via the newsfeed, except, uh, you know, on Facebook, instead of, you know, cute, uh, 
you know, get, um, you know, videos and images, uh, we surface up uh, the, the, you know, the, the documents that are, that are people are, your colleagues are working on. All right. So the information, you know, the information on Delft is safe. Uh, there is even a link in the lower left hand corner, as you can see, to address Microsoft is, is trying to address the concern that a lot of users have, um, uh, you, you know, about the privacy issue. And once again, you can even see this piece of uh, text over here uh, as well, that you only get to see the documents that you already have access to. You are not going, Delve is not going to magically, um, you know, show you the content from the site you don't have access to, you are not allowed to see. All right, so just wanted to address this concern as well, because a lot of users obviously have, um, um, you know, uh, this legitimate uh, concern. Uh, but I, you know, to be honest, I love Delve. Every time a client, you know, tells me, well, we need to build an employee directory, I tell them we don't need to build good news. We don't need to build anything. It's already here. It already exists for you. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, populating the information with the, uh, with the contact information, uh, with the profile information. And that could either be done by the users themselves. Uh, as you can see, you know, people can replace pictures and images and update the information, or this could be centralized and updated by your IT team uh, through, uh, you know, behind the scenes through Active Directory or SharePoint user profiles. All right. Well, hopefully this uh, explains, um, you know, what Office, uh, you know, 365 Delve is. Uh, and hopefully you found this video uh, useful. And I'm looking forward uh, to seeing you again. Uh, I definitely appreciate your time and attention. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye-bye.